Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show here on Facebook. I'm Matthew Buzzy, this is Tony Hoffman, and every day we bring you something cool from the labs. Today it's a 3D printer. Uh, Tony, which 3D printer specifically is this? This is the Lowsbot Mini 2. Two. Yes. We'll get into the differences between the, the one <coughs> in a moment. If you have any comments or questions, uh, leave them in the comment section. Uh, Social Zach today is reading off your comments and questions, and he'll read them out to us so we can answer as best we can. Um, <coughs> 3D printers, they're kind of more affordable than ever. They're more consumer friendly than ever. Where are we at with, where are we uh, at with 3D printers? A little bit of each. Okay. Uh, they're definitely more consumer friendly than ever. That's a plus. Uh, Many of them are quite affordable. We uh, have uh, found decent ones for like uh, less than $300. They don't have as many uh, wider range of features mm -hmm. as something like this, but they, they can do basic 3D printing with decent quality. Okay. So the scale is getting there, but this one is a high-end $1,500 <coughs> model. That so is right. not quite the same as those. Um, tell me about what this does special, why you would pay so much money for this. Well, it uh, can print from a large variety of filaments. Okay. And uh, actually it has settings in the software, which is uh, the open source program called Cura, which we've seen in many other uh, 3D printers. Uh, it's specially tooled for Lowsbot printers and it has a list of about, just about three dozen filament types uh, that uh, Lowe's bought sell, Aleph Objects is the name of the company that manufactures them, that they sell as well as other ones. You can set custom uh, profiles with it, which basically would uh, determine the temperature of the uh, extruder as well as the temperature of the print bed. Gotcha. Um, what sort of, I mean, as someone who doesn't know a ton about 3D printing, like what sort of advantages do you get from different types of filament? Like you, they can build different finer things or bigger things or? Um, lots of things. Uh, ABS filament, which is very common, uh -huh. is the same material that's used in Legos. Okay. And it's hard. It, uh, you don't want to step on it. Yeah. It's anyone who's try to <laughs> Tried and true on test. A Lego yeah. piece. Uh, this is uh, a variant on the, uh, also very common, uh, PLA, which is polylactic acid, which is uh, probably the widest uh, filament in use. And both PLA and ABS have the advantage of, of very uh, low prices. Other materials, you get uh, flex, more flexible materials that you can actually, there's a video, uh, it may even be on the, um, with that review, I'm not certain that that shows a wrench that you can bend oh. because it's made out of very so uh, it's a flexible filament. Huh. Yes. The more so, you know. So, what are the specific advantages of this other than being a high-end printer? That is it. Is it fast times? Is it? Uh, does it have really high build quality? Like, why? Why go with this one? It's very easy to set up and use. Okay. The uh, setup process is uh, basically you just. Open the box. There's a lot of packing materials that are in it, and you remove those and make sure everything is uh, is removed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you uh, have to uh, press this little uh, gizmo here, which is at the top of the uh, um, the extruder assembly, mm -hmm. to allow the fill. It, it would come actually. You would take a spool of filament. Because, yeah, this doesn't come on here, right? You gotta, uh, fold yeah. this arm up. This is a, a foldable arm. And then you would press the filament. You'd open this so that the gears would be open enough mm -hmm. so that you can press it down. You just feed it in. And the hardest thing about setting up the printer was actually getting it to, uh, to uh, open up because it required quite a bit of, uh, of pressure. Oh. Hmm. But once, and, uh, once it's in, it's pretty, uh, pretty simple. Do you have yes. a question? Well, you, actually, that's a good uh, question. One of the things that distinguishes this uh, printer is the fact that it does have an open frame, which means unlike uh, some uh, like the Editor's Choice uh, Dremel uh, 3D45, which is a closed box, basically, with a mm. door that you open, 
This is entirely open to the uh, elements. Some of the filaments have, uh, uh, can have unpleasant smells. Uh, some people criticize uh, ABS uh, plastic because it has a sort of burnt plastic smell, which... Uh, not the most pleasant <laughs> thing. No, <laughs> but uh, with this printer, I did not notice any, uh, any uh, unpleasant smell. There was maybe a slightly sweet odor, but even that was uh, minimal, and chances are after printing it for, with it for a day or so, you won't even notice it. Mm. Uh, the other thing about an open frame printer uh, is that it can, uh, can be noisy, however... Can confirm that. However, with this particular model, uh, the uh, Aleph objects uh, put in new, I believe, their stepper motors, which are uh, pretty silent, and this, uh, this model was a lot less noisy than most of the 3D printers, even though it does have an open frame, so mm. uh, kudos to them for that. The only other disadvantage to an open frame is potentially you can touch the hot extruder, but it doesn't extend far down at all. Yeah, you'd have to make, a, you'd have to make an effort to touch that, I feel like. Yeah, so for the vast majority of people, uh, particularly if you don't have uh, small kids or pets around, mm -hmm. uh, the, the uh, open frame should not be a negative. Nice. Um, so how about, speaking of that, the print quality and the print time? The print time is pretty standard. Yeah. For, uh, depending on, uh, we use the default resolution mm -hmm. and uh, I believe it was 280 microns, although I'm not certain of that. Uh, but uh, printing at that resolution, uh, it takes uh, for one of the to print one of these owls, it takes a couple of hours, and that's pretty standard across all the filament 3D printers we've run into. Uh, resolution detail is good. Uh, there's some swirling that you get that with the, for, you can see where individual layers were mm. put down. The one uh, problem we did have is in printing this particular test object, the first couple of times we uh, tried to print it, it would uh, print about halfway up and then it would pull off the base and uh, just uh, print a string of filament, like spaghetti-like, <laughs> until somebody noticed it and stopped that's it. Not, that's not ideal. Uh, not ideal, <laughs> however, uh, by default, uh, the Lowe's Bot Cura uh, software did not either put on a raft or a brim, which is ma material that can hold the uh, printer more uh, firmly to the base. Another way to do it is to use like uh, glue, uh, glue sticks. I, I actually tried that and it didn't work, although <laughs> apparently there is a type of glue that uh, Lulzbot mentioned that is more helpful. Huh. Uh, so but, it's a, it's uh, a known thing. Once I, once I discovered this and put a brim, which you can see at the bottom here, uh, well, I instructed the software to print a brim. Right. Uh, I did not have any problems uh, with it uh, pulling off the base. That's all right. So print Small quality is yeah. good, uh, not perfect. There's uh, a couple of these vertical walls are did not print at all, huh. and the type isn't th that great. But but the, the rest of the objects are are for the most part very well formed. So uh, I would say this is about average in terms of overall print quality. You can ask for for uh, something at that price. Uh, I saw a couple other things from your review. Um, there's no bundled filament. Um, that true. That's, I guess, a con is usually, they usually include yes. uh, a, a, couple of, a couple spools for you. Yeah, um, what, usually one spool. Just a spool, all right. You get a meter length of filament with this okay. that, that is used to print one test object, it's the uh, Lulzbot's signature Roctopus. 
It's a, an octopus with one hand, if you will, uh, displaying the rock on uh, sign. Gotcha. And uh, I do see an octopus, not that octopus, but in their logo on the side so here. It does yeah. print. Otherwise, it leaves the filament uh, selection up to you. Uh, low spot, LF objects, I should say, has a large selection of filament that they sell. And as I say, there's a lot of preset settings. But unlike a lot of spool holders, this one can use, you can put just about any spool as long as it's not larger mm. than the, the uh, base here. So you could choose any filament you want. Uh, this is actually three millimeter filament. It's wider than most manufacturers. But uh, other than that, you can use any sort of three millimeter filament uh, that you can, uh, so it's not proprietary. Um, oh, question. Uh, can you just recap the price and um, who it's for? The price is uh, fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, it is for hobbyists, schools, community centers. Um, it can be used by. Uh, by product developers, engineers. It's basically a, a mid-range uh, printer with a, a wide audience. Mm. And uh, it, as I say, it's very easy to set up. You can get this up and running in, uh, I mean, basically you, you just have to install the software and do the, uh, the, the tasks that I uh, mentioned and then you're ready to print. And it works on us all, like every operating system, like Windows, Mac, Linux, yes. so that's another thing. Yes, plus. actually, not all of them work with Linux, but this does. I believe it's Ubuntu, Ub Ubuntu, but I'm not certain mm. on that. All right, so yeah, the price point's maybe for hobbyists or casual home use, but slightly, slightly more serious than the $300 machines, um, or like you said, a, a community center or, or school or something with a little more of a serious purpose than the very inexpensive machines. Yes. Um, so, looks good. Made a lot of nice quality products here. Uh, it's pretty versatile. Um, the open air is fun. <laughs> I don't know, getting to like see it in an open instead of a closed door, even yes. though they usually have clear sides and stuff anyway, um, is kind of cool. I just prefer the open. Yes. Um, if we have no more questions, I think that's it. Tony's full review uh, is online at PCMag.com. It got four stars out of five, so it is excellent. And um, you can read more details there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be back every weekday with another cool thing.